good morning. On this Saturday morning, we thought we'd be outside again because it's, it's just so beautiful. And as you can hear, the, the chorus of birds are joining in this morning. And I wish we had more time uh, for Sarah to show how brilliant she is at identifying birdsong, but we haven't got time for that this morning. But there is a Thankfully. chance she's going to be distracted by a nuthatch that keeps going in to feed its young uh, just uh, over the camera. But uh, we're really pleased you can join us again this morning mm -hmm. uh, for another psalm. And we come to a psalm this morning, Psalm 94, that's a, a deeply challenging uh, psalm uh, because it, it looks injustice in the face. and and it cries out to God to do something, to do what only God can do, which is to bring his righteousness and justice. And the, the, the psalmist is confident that God is going to do that. But how long must the singer wait until God brings his justice? So we're going to read from Psalm 94. <clears throat> the Lord is a God who avenges. O God who avenges, shine forth. Rise up, judge of the earth, pay back to the proud what they deserve. How long, Lord, will the wicked, how long will the wicked be jubilant? They pour out arrogant words. All the evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner. They murder the fatherless. They say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Take notice, you senseless ones among the people, you fools, when will you become wise? Does he who fashioned the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all human plans. He knows that they are futile. <clears throat> Blessed is the one you discipline, Lord. The one you teach from your law, you grant them relief from days of trouble, till a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people, he will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evildoer? Unless the Lord has given me help, I will soon have dwelt in the silence of death. When I said, my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Can a corrupt throne be allied with you? A throne that brings on, brings on misery by its decrees. The wicked band together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my fortress and my God, the rock in whom I take refuge. He will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. Wow, that's quite a, a psalm. Lots uh, to think about there this morning as uh, we think about God's justice and, and the cry for his justice to be seen on the earth. What... Uh, your, is your eye drawn to My, this morning, Sarah? Particularly this morning, I think um, it is. It is quite. A, it is quite a, a psalm to navigate, and I think um, the verse. I think that's quite um, the ultimate verse, almost the summit, is um, is verse fifteen, and I'll read it. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Um, and I just think that this psalm speaks of injustice in in our lives and in the wider world and, and even at the moment the injustice for the more vulnerable countries um, where they where they don't have the access to the resources that, mm. that we do um, and how but how do we face into this injustice that we see we've seen in the past we've seen now and in the future um, you know we can become bitter you know or, or want to discharge our anger in some way um, but actually this psalm tells us to wait which, which is which is really hard but it's not I think it's not an inactive waiting um, we still need to, to sort of fight for justice for, for people um, in the right way um, and I just think I think one verse that or, or one phrase that that I think is, is really helpful when one feels that anger in, in injustice is that actually the battle belongs to the Lord um, so leave it with, leave it with, with him, him, but still be active in yes. in, in facing that injustice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, 
and and I I, I was um, struck by the the sense in which um, in this waiting for, for for justice to be done and for it to be seen to be done, um, just the the challenge as you said about being patient, waiting on God, and how it can the psalmist says that it, it left them feeling alone, precarious, and anxious, and how God, even while we're waiting for God to establish His justice, um, His character and and His action is still orientated towards sustaining us and, and, and granting us that patience because um, in verse 16 when we feel alone we're surrounded um, and uh, we, we um, the psalmist says who will stand for me against evildoers and then he responds unless the Lord has given me help uh, I would have soon dwelt in the silence of death he knew that God was would, would be his helper and then when he felt precarious my foot is slipping your unfailing Lord love Lord supported me and then when I felt overwhelmed by anxiety, um, your consolation brought me joy. So even in the waiting, God is there um, working in us and, and through us. And uh, <clears throat> it did strike me where tomorrow we're going into uh, Palm Sunday. Um, and here is the, the moment where the King of Righteousness comes into Jerusalem, rides into Jerusalem. and, and uh, if you've been praying Psalm 94, you might have been quite surprised at how the Avenger comes to bring his justice and to, uh, to put all wrongs right, because he comes in on a donkey. Um, and of course, that was the fulfillment of another prophecy, but it was, it was not the, the sort of the obvious way in which justice would be done. But rather than um, be overcome by the pull to deal with the immediate enemies in front of him. Jesus resisted that pull um, because he was going to address a far wider injustice. He was going to address the wrong that is in all of us, not just the wrong we see um, uh, around us or in the world. And, and um, what a, a beautiful thing it is that at this time we're going to be moving into Holy Week and Easter and we're remembering that actually the journey into Jerusalem would finish on a cross and that's where a, a kingdom of, of perfect justice was going to be established as the righteous judge would begin by taking the punishment on himself for us all. Um, the wrong in my life as well as the wrong in, in, the, in the world around. So I just, um, so I was reading this psalm and uh, puzzling over how, how does it speak into our time uh, at the moment? Well, I wonder as we move into Holy Week and particularly with Palm Sunday tomorrow, recognizing that this new kingdom, uh, the kingdom of it's established through the cross, is one we're invited into um, because we're forgiven there, our wrongs are forgiven, but also we can then play our part in establishing this new rule and reign um, in which um, that great trio, the fatherless, the widow, and, and, um, uh, and also the foreigner, those who are often most vulnerable in any society um, in particular will find justice. And that's the, the ultimate um, uh, mark of a society that is actually living in God's justice. So, challenging psalm, uh, but uh, I hope uh, in different ways it will inspire us to pray and begin our journey uh, tomorrow into Holy Week. Um, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness and grace. Thank you that you came to raise us out of sin and that you are a God of justice. Lord, help us today to remember that the battle belongs with you. Amen. Amen. So, thank you for joining us again this morning. And uh, I, I, the, the nut hatch is still <laughs> um, sweeping up into its uh, its little uh, nest uh, behind us here. Um, wherever you are, and whether you're someone who, who needs to stay indoors today, or you're not able to get out, outside, um, or you're able to, to get a walk um, in the sunshine near to home, uh, don't forget, then uh, we pray you'll know God's blessing and that together we can pray for his justice in our world at this time.